Logcast solution here to homework 5.2p. Um, you will find this one a lot easier than the last problem that we had to do. Pretty much we can solve this whole, whole problem using the equation PV equals nRT and the idea that lighter gases effuse, defuse, and have a greater average molecular speed. And all gases, if they are at the same temperature, have the same kinetic energy. So before we even look at this problem, let's just analyze what we're given. We're given two containers. It looks like they have the same volume. Yep, they do. Looks like they have the same temperature. And indeed, they do have the same temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, 298 Kelvin. And it looks like they have the same number of moles. All right. So we can see here that I, immediately this tells us that they are at the same kinetic energy because they have the same temperature. Okay. It also tells us they're at the same pressure because if PV equals nRT, P equals nRT over V, nRT and V for all of these are the same, so they all have the same pressure. Yay. Now the only thing they differ it by is the fact that this one is nitrogen and this one is hydrogen. Well, let's go up here. Nitrogen has a molar mass of 28 grams per mole. <coughs> and the diatomic molecule, or Twinkie, hydrogen, is 2 grams per mole. So although they're at the same kinetic energy, same volume, same pressure, hydrogen's moving faster. It's got a greater rate of diffusion because it is smaller. Okay. So in this case, it's faster. And it's actually going to be faster by the square root of how much smaller it is, so square root of 14 in this case. All right, so we've identified a lot about this. I bet we have a lot answered. Let's go through and look at it now. Um, consider two containers, volume and temperature. One container holds this many moles, the other container holds this many moles. The average kinetic energy of N2 is this. Okay, so they gave us a value for the average kinetic energy. And we already identified up here that because they're at the same temperature, they have to have the exact same kinetic energy. So if the kinetic energy of N2 is 6.2 times 10 to the negative 21st joules, the kinetic energy of H2 has to be 6.2 times 10 to the negative 21st joules. Right. Um, and they both exhibit ideal behavior. Okay, So they're nonpolar. They expand temperatures in, that are high and pressures that are low. Is the pressure in the container holding H2 less than, greater than, or equal to the pressure in the container holding N2? All right, it's going to be equal to, and see the explanation that I gave up here above. Um, if PV equals nRT, um, then P equals nRT over V, and N, which is 0.1, R, which is 0.0821, T, which is 298 Kelvin, and V, in this case, which is 1 liter, are all the same, so the pressures are equal. What is the average kinetic energy of the H2 molecules? All right, the average kinetic energy of the H2 molecules is going to be the same as the average kinetic energy of the N2 molecules because they are at the same temperature. Um, and they gave you the value for that. So they did not ask you to explain it. So 6.2 times 10 to the negative 21st joules. C, the molecules of which gas, N2 or H2, have a greater average speed? Look at we were able to solve all of this just by looking at this diagram and identifying it. Um, H2, um, because it has a smaller molar mass. And its speed is actually greater by a factor of the square root of the differences in mass. Uh, they did not ask for this, but why not? Um, what change could be made that would decrease the average kinetic energy of N2 molecules in the container? All right, kinetic energy is only proportional to what? Let me give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. You are right. Temperature. All right, so lowering temp would lower Ke. All right. If the volume of the container holding H2 was decreased 
to 0.5 liters at 298K. What would be the change in each of the following variables? Justify your answer. So, um, got to give me a second here to readjust this, guys, before I can solve it. Okay. So, I need, need to do this real quick. All right. Oops. This is not cool. Um, what am I going to do? All right, I'm gonna have to erase this information up here, and um, maybe I could. They'll let me open up a new thing. Open up a new one. Um. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna erase this. You have it broadcasted. You can go through it, rewind it anytime. All right. So if the volume of the container holding the H2 particles was decreased um, to 0.5 liters at 298k, what would be the change in each of the following variables? In each case, justify your answer. All right, so let's think about our the PTV stick that I talked about in class today. Okay, are we changing the temperature? No, we are not changing the temperature. Temperature in this case is going to remain constant at a constant 298. So if the volume was holding it, um, if the volume was decreased, this whole thing went down. Notice pressure would go up. Okay, pressure and volume are inversely related to one another. So in one, P would increase. And for those of you that are in interested, that relationship is called Boyle's Law. Um, so two, the average speed of the H2 molecules. Okay, speed is only related to the size of the H2 particles, okay? So if the volume of the container holding H2 was decreased from 0.5 liters, um, from one to 0.5 liters, what would happen to the speed? So nothing would happen to the speed. They are not asking you to explain it, so I'm just gonna say nothing. Um, if they increase the temperature, the kinetic energy of the, of the particles would increase, and I guess you could extrapolate, then, then in that case, the speed would go up. Um, but you've done nothing but make those particles that are moving at the same speed, so there's the H2 particles moving. You've just forced them to move at the same speed in a container half the size. So they're still moving with the same speed, just in a container half the size. Okay, take care, guys. Have a good one.